it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am here with my video for week 11 of the PPC Alphabet Challenge. So this challenge is run by Hilary over at Pink Bubble Cards and lovely Hilary picks us a prompt every Wednesday. So she takes, picks a letter from the alphabet and then gives us a prompt for that and it might be um, a technique or a theme or it might be something in her stash. So last Wednesday there she picked E for envelope. So I decided to have a go at making a envelope portfolio. I don't think I have made one of these before but I had bought myself a pack of these kind of cheapy brown envelopes and I think this is what I bought them for was doing some journal making. This isn't a journal, a portfolio. Um, so I glued them together basically, it's dead simple. I glued down that flap so that that was a bit more sturdy. Um, I actually trimmed, see there's these little bits here, I actually cut just there and there and glued those flat to the, the base of the envelope. And then I put glue on this bit, this flappy bit, I used that as like a hinge. So that went on there and then I did the same, excuse me, I think my stomach's talking to itself, did the same. So I had three envelopes glued together. So that gave me three sort of vertical pockets. And this is what I've decorated it so far. It is not finished. So my plan is to kind of take my time in decorating it. I've been making a few, um, it's quite spring sort of colours to me. And I've been making a few springy Easterish embellishments that I don't want to show yet because they're going for a swap. Um, some of them I've shown, but you know, I wanted to maybe put a few of those in. So I'm showing you sort of the work in progress and I want to take my time and enjoy finishing it off and adding more decoration and um, I suppose things that make me feel happy by looking at them in the pockets and things so I've, I've chosen to add this beautiful thing sticker on the belly band which is it's a bit um, loose but deliberately so so that when I put more bits in it'll hopefully accommodate the portfolio will get a wee bit fatter. So I just, I gave it a card um, sort of extra flap. I didn't want to use the, the envelope one because as I say, they're really flimsy cheap envelopes. So I glued the envelope, it's glued behind this and this is the lovely thick patterned paper. So when you open it up, so that is one envelope two envelopes, three envelopes, and I've just used some patterned paper. I've been using this one. You've seen me use it before. It's um, got it at the range. It's one of the Craft Sensations um, packs, and it's called Dreamy Pastels. And it just so happens, stand that there, to coordinate with another couple of things I've had in my stash for too long. <laughs> These um, creative paper collections, they come with stickers, um, little cut-aparts, uh, journaling cards, little mini postcards, patterned papers. They were also at the range and I'd never really clocked that a lot of the patterns coordinate with each other and with that paper pad, which was perfect. So... So yeah, so that is the three envelopes there. Hopefully you can see where those came from. Um, so I added some of that paper. It's really nice, thick. Does it say what it is? 250 GSM. So it gives it the folio a nice bit of um, structure because the envelopes are very flimsy. So this first pocket I've just decorated with some little cutouts from those those books I just showed you and that is pretty much it on this inside that I've done. I've stuck a wee um, postcard in there, um, 
but I'm thinking maybe some lists, maybe a sort of gratitude kind of theme. Um, yeah, I don't know. I will, I will keep you posted. On this one, um, so this is like the outside of the envelopes, and that was actually, it's, it's too much for a twelve by twelve. So it's there's a join here, which. Yeah, you can see, but I might put something on it. I might not. Um, so this, I added a little pocket. So I've just taken one of the little sort of quote cut aparts and layered it up on some papers um, and glued the pocket down. And I've popped a couple of little journal cards and a tag in there from the book. So there's like a lovely, is it a house plan or is it? It's more like a sort of vase of foliage. foliage. Can't speak. A couple of little these journal cards. So this is, you know, the same kind of patterns. Um, and on the back they've got lines so I could write a wee list or stick a picture or whatever. And then on the top bit I just added a little square of its um, sort of graph paper. Um, I put a little sticker on so this one says you make me smile and the bit at the bottom says do more of what makes you happy I think that is a very good philosophy for life there's a little another little sticker sticker there with a pattern and a little sticker of a sort of page flag and then a little arrow in case I forget I have to open it up so that is as far as I have got with it but I was really enjoying making it and I want to continue enjoying um, filling it up. So let me know if you are joining in with a challenge in the um, comments. You don't need to make YouTube videos but if you are making a video let me know. Um, if you're sharing it on your Instagram let me know and let me know what your um, Instagram name is if I'd, I might not have come across your account lots of people I have but um that would be great because it's always nice to see what other people I try not to look until I've caught up with the prompt so that it kind of makes me be a bit more creative and rather than you see somebody else doing something and think oh I'll do that that's a brilliant idea <laughs> so so yeah so that's me and I will be back I'll be back Wednesday with an Embellish With Us Wednesday video, all being well. I haven't got it made yet, so fingers crossed, but I'm going to go away because my stomach is talking. And I'm sorry, but probably with this microphone, you probably eat it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Please say hello in the comments. Talk back to my stomach. Say hello, it's saying hello to you and um, I will see you very soon. Bye now.